Jack Coletto is in the game, a fullback. We haven't seen this fullback being used as much. Arthur Smith loves it. Field scrambles, gets a couple of yards, but it's going to be short at first down yard. You're setting up a third down. Jalen Petrie, their second round pick a couple of years ago, was in pursuit. Nothing downfield as he's rolling out there to the right, and you can see him using his legs, something he does well. He has over 2,200 yards in his career rushing the football. Mike Tomlin does not want to take that away from him. He wants him to just go out there and play his type of ball. And he wants to see him in the pocket, efficiently making passes. You saw Russell Wilson there, who was newly signed here as well. Uh, and he will likely play, hopefully, next week when Buffalo comes to town, still nursing that calf injury. Third and four now as Fields operates from the shotgun. Looking left, and he's hit from behind, and he goes down. And that is Daniil Hunter, their free agent signing from the Vikings. Two-year, $49 million deal. And, boy, this guy is good at second a quarterback. It's a loss of eight, and it forces a punt. He's coming off the top of your screen right there. Man-to-man -man coverage by the Texans on the back end. Caused Fields to hold the ball just a little longer than he, what he wanted to and wasn't able to sneak out of pressure. And that was Troy Faltano. He got around. The rookie got a lesson right off the bat by a guy who's been a four-time pro bowler. You see Tank Dell. They have a variety of wide receivers. They brought in Stephon Diggs. We have a penalty flag on the near side. Dell takes the punt, and he's going to have some running room to the near side. And he gets into Steeler territory before he's hit out of bounds. And that may result in something here. A lot of exchanges going on down there. Charlie, was it late? You see, as the ref was coming in, it he was looking at the other ref to see should we throw a flag or not because he originally threw his flag was there going to be another flag thrown he was looking for his hat so it's going to be interesting to see what the referees as they get together what they call yeah he needed two flags on that play <laughs> apparently he only had one but tank Dell's a guy who also came on strong last year third round pick 47 catches seven touchdowns they had a Stefan Diggs. they have Nico Collins they got a lot of talent on their offensive side Player going out of bounds on the kick from Brady to the kicking team. Five yard penalty will be enforced from the end of the return. First down, Houston. Timeout. And that was Des Fitzpatrick who stepped out of bounds. As you look at D'Amico Ryans, their second year head coach, will come back when Texans go on the march again right here at Acrisure Stadium. Bob Pompiani, Charlie Batch, Missy Matthews with you. You see some of the veterans on the sideline, TJ Watt. Three sacks shy of 100. Cam Hayward, 15th year in the NFL. Those guys obviously are not playing tonight, but we will see some people in there tonight who will be interested to watch from the Steelers' defensive side, including Peyton Wilson. Um, and you see uh, Nick Herbick in there as well, number 51, who had a big season as a rookie. Number one, Stephon Diggs is in the game. They acquired him in a trade with Buffalo. Nico Collins, as well as Tank Dell, and the handoff goes to Damian Pierce. And Pierce doesn't get much yardage there. Julius Welch. There you see number 41, Peyton Wilson, third round pick. The Butkus, the Bednarik, ACC Defensive Player of the Year. They're expecting big things. Pursuit on Stroud. Nick Herbert shows you the explosion that he has. He just went and took off and got to Stroud very quickly. That's what they want to see from Herbert right here. Making sure he doesn't lose contain, getting after the quarterback. Last year, three sacks. He's looking to build off of that. Did a nice job right there bringing down Stroud. He really did. And that's not an easy assignment because Stroud could move in addition to passing. He had a nice uh, season running the football as well. And All right. Remember one of the things there, the intentional grounding rule. Right. You know, that's, 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 that's a change this year that we'll talk about. There are a few changes here. As we see now, a third and eight. Stroud delivers right on the money, and that goes to Tank Dell. Dell makes his way into the end zone, eluding tacklers for the touchdown. It's C.J. Stroud to Tank Dell. 36 yards on a third and eight, and the Texans are on the board. Stroud knows exactly where he's going right here on the skinny post right there. Anthony Avery is on coverage right there in zone. When you hit that ball on time, he's expecting help underneath. When that doesn't happen, it puts a lot of stress on your safety right there with yep. KZ. Elliot KZ, they were all there. Anthony Avery, the guys who came over. Um, former fourth round pick of Baltimore. 
And so now it's Kai Fairbairn, who's been very good uh, out of UCLA. He's been there for a long time. Just signed a new extension for three years, $16 million. Kick is good. Houston. Back Stroud to Dell. Touchdown pass of 34 yards officially, 7 0. Houston leads. This season, the Pavement Group is donating $500 for every. Pavement Group, Brian has you are a rock star. We truly appreciate you and everyone else who supports Best of the Batch Foundation. Thank you. Dynamic kickoff number two. Kai Fairbairn will kick it off. J.R. Plumley is one of the guys back. Jonathan Ward, the other. Danny Smith watching this, and you should too. Again, can't do anything. Until it goes into the landing zone and it's Plumley who has it across the 20 trying to make a move. He's an athletic runner. Flag flies on the return. He gets to the third close to the 30 yard line about the 27 yard line. But we'll see what this flag is. This is a tough play because once the runner goes past you. Based on what you did in years past this is completely different. During the return, illegal block in the back, number 20. Correction, holding, number 29 of the receiving team. 10 yard penalty from the spot of foul. First down, Pittsburgh. All right, let's check it out. Ryan Watts. One of the rookies on the Steeler roster, and Plumlee is also a rookie. He's, he was one of those guys, he was really good at scrambling the football when he was down at Central Florida. 34 career passing touchdowns, but 28 career rushing touchdowns. He's just trying to find a way to the practice squad, quite frankly. And showing versatility can help him there. We're going to see Zach Frazier from West Virginia now at center after those two exchange problems for the Steelers between Fields and Herbeck. Najee Harris up the middle. And that's a good healthy gain on first down six yards second and four coming up for the Steelers We also saw Troy Fatano on that first series and he uh, he ran into Daniil Hunter who did a pretty good move around him and you know as a rookie you're going to see that Charlie you're going you're to find out against first teamers like that just how quick it is in the NFL you can see Frazier right there on the double team McCormick is working up to that linebacker opening up that hole for Harris for a six yard gain. Also in the game is Mason McCormick, number 66. And now Pickens on a sidearm pass. He's going to get first down yardage and a nice block right there by Spencer Anderson. Ten yards when it looked like, actually nine yards when it looked like that was well diagnosed by the Texans. Eric Murray finally makes the play. A little sidearm delivery. You see, just trying to fake toss there to the left. Just trying to hit the receiver screen out there. The ball is supposed to hit upside, inside those numbers right there. As it's pushed outside, there's not a lot of room out there because you have the extra defender, which is the out of bounds line, and he wasn't able to get going. Pickens and Van Jefferson remain in the game at wide receiver. Mason McCormick is an interesting story, too. A fourth round pick. They really like number 66 in the offensive line game. A lot of change to that offensive line over the last two years. Here's Fields with time, fires over the middle, and he has his man, Van Jefferson, and that is a Strike of 20 yards from Fields to Jefferson. And this is what happens when you get the running game going. Play action fake to the left. Fields able half boot to the right. He's working a corner out right there to Van Jefferson. Does a nice job of getting open. Van Jefferson, this is a guy battle injury the past few years, but when he gets going, this guy can play. Jalen Warren now in the game. Field so far five for five, 67 yards. That was his best throw of the night right there on the money. Michael Pruitt, number 81, also in the game for the Steelers now. New set of downs right at midfield, trailing 7 0 on the Stroud to Dell touchdown. It's Warren here trying to cut inside. He was hit right there and taken down. The uh, Houston Texans and Derek Barnett have a very good defense, uh, led by Will Anderson. They brought in Daniil Hunter, and they also have some pretty good guys in the secondary. So. It's going to be a team to reckon with. They won the South. Nobody expected that last year. Now their sights are higher. Absolutely. When you have a young quarterback like C.J. Stroud, you better believe expectations are a lot higher. A gain of only one yard right there. And uh, this time Warren explodes as he gets close to first down yardage. And a second effort gets him there. Depending where they spot it, looks like a first down indeed for Jalen Warren. Kalen Bullock, the rookie out of USC, makes the stop, a gain of nine, right. and a new set of downs, it appears. Big 77, Broderick Jones right there. He's able to open up that hole, and once he gets his hands on you, there's no getting away from that. Nice job by Jones. So Broderick Jones back at left tackle. It's going to be interesting to see how this plays out with Dan Moore, who's a veteran. 
And George Pickens likes what he sees right there, as you can see, a little salsa dance. That's one thing Arthur Smith likes. He has, he loves his receivers blocking, and that's the strength of George Pickens. This is a pitch to Najee Harris, and Fontana with a nice block right there as he drove somebody back. That's a gain of four yards, but it looked more impressive than that. <laughs> Allie Gay comes up and makes the play, but Fontana moved, moved some people. As he received this pitch here, you, you thought it was going to be bigger than what it was. But I just like the big fella out in space. Fire, fire moves out there. Big little Calvin Austin, he's out there getting the block as well. And you can see Najee just able to move, maneuver in the manner of being able to pick up four. And if you're able to do that consistently on second down, it opens up your entire playbook, runner pass. Calvin Austin, the third in the game. Arthur Smith calling the plays from the field. And Fields again delivers outside pass. It's right there, and it is made. The reception is made. Chris Boyd was in coverage, or what do they say there? Incomplete. Van Jefferson was the man over there making that reception. Pretty good coverage. It'll set up a third and six. Ball just a little behind him there. Allow the defender to come in and make that play. The ball's out in front. That's an easier completion. Uh, he had looked like he got both feet in there, didn't he? You can see Mike Tomlin looking. One. You get the second one down right there. That's a toe there. That's, you, that should be. Uh, Mike Tomlin's not going to challenge it. We should also tell you that last year you had to get both challenges right to get a third. This year you only need one right. This time Fields under pressure. He's going to go down in the pocket. Good pressure by the Texans right there, and that results in another loss. There have been several of those so far. Seven yards this time on the sack by Jeremy Hughes, who led the way. And the Texans, they love to get in your face, playing man-to-man, -man, not allowing those easy routes to get off the line of scrimmage. You can just see the pressure catches up with Fields there. So that will end that drive. Hewitt's also involved in that, and special teams... Right now we've seen an 18-yard punt return for them, a 27-yard punt return. A couple of penalties on the Steelers and Steven Sims, the former Steeler, back to receive this one. Cameron Johnston's punt is a high hanger, and it's going to be a fair catch by Sims as he goes inside the 10 to about the 7 or 8-yard line. And that's where the Texans will go to work. 35 yards on that punt with no return. I like those punts inside the per, uh, 20 with no return. And that, that's what they like from Johnson. I mean, he's consistent inside the 20, getting the ball inside the 10-yard line, and he feels if they can do that on this team defensively for the Steelers, that is going to be a strength. That's why a change was made at the punting position. And you can see Johnson right now, which they love, the consistent football that he's been punting in training camp up on the trope. Davis Mills is in the game now for quarterback of the Houston Texans. Stroud with that touchdown pass to Dell of 34 yards, did what he had to do, first opportunity and this is Damian Pierce handoff goes nowhere. The other thing about Johnston he was brought here mostly because Presley Harvin was just inconsistent. Harvin's leg was never in question. It was just the consistency of his kicking. Right and that's that that was that's why a change was made and Presley people loved him around here. Unfortunately the business caught up with him. The change was made and hopefully he continues his career. So second out and now and Keanu Benton went off you can tell he was Getting off there kind of gingerly. Has some sort of injury. Montrevious Adams in the game for the Steelers. A guy who's just year after year somebody who contributes. Mills goes down the field. Good coverage by Joey Porter Jr. But they're going to call pass interference now. Robert Ruiz was the intended receiver. Porter was all over him. That's the one thing about Joey Porter. He's going to be all over you. And on that pass play, a little too handsy. 24 defense. The ball will be placed in spot of foul. Automatic first down. To the right there, he's in the face here. Ball's up in the air right now. Joey just has, he's long to begin with. He doesn't have to have and keep his hands on him. He's trying to locate the football, can't do it, but that left arm right there, referee will call that every time. 24 yards on that penalty, and you're right. That's a little too handsy. Robert Woods, you might remember him with the Buffalo Bills. Second round pick way back in 2013. Has since been with the Rams and Titans. He's been a big play. They got a lot of good receivers on this team. Andrew Beck now in it running back. This one goes to Pierce. Gain of a couple of yards there for Damian Pierce. Had a nice rookie season when he first got into the league with four touchdowns. Hasn't been utilized quite as much, but now kind of reemerged as a guy they they want to utilize. He is, and they're trying to establish the run game near. You can see big 57 Montrevious Adams. He's in there on that tackle. Adams last year, 24 tackles, 
It's part of the rotation with Benton there, and he's looking for more playing time this year. Xavier Hutchison joins Robert Woods as wide receivers for the Texans. First time we've seen Hutchison here tonight. Dalton Schultz, the tight end, remains in the game. Second and eight. Mills with time. Slant overthrows Hutchison. That'll set up a third down and eight situation. 